what is Shanghai? On the morning of June 20th, 1830, Lord Amherst, the first British ship to visit Shanghai, was anchored at the mouth of Tuangpu. Two Europeans strode ashore. These men were Charles Gustler, translator and missionary, and Hugh Lindsay, representative of the British East India Company. Crowds gathered to gaze at these red bristled barbarians, though in his report Lindsay mentions cotton cloth and calico. His real objective was to sell opium. Nine years later, the opium wars broke out. After the Chinese defeat against Britain, Shanghai became one of the cities open to foreign trade by the 1842 Treaty of Nanking. A new mega city since began to develop. Shanghai Landers Until the 19th century and the first opium war, Shanghai was considered to be essentially a fishing village. However, in 1914, Shanghai had 200 banks dealing with 80% of the foreign investments in China. Citizens of many countries and all continents came to Shanghai to live and work during the ensuing decades. By 1932, Shanghai had become the world's fifth largest city and home to 70,000 foreigners. Foreign residents of the city called themselves Shanghai Landers. From 1842 to 1949, while the British established a settlement in a section of Shanghai, the French and Americans also established their own settlements. These settlements are later called concessions. World War II marked Shanghai as a destination for refugees. Between 1937 and 1939, an estimated 20,000 Jews traveled to Shanghai to flee the Nazis. Shanghai was the only city where Jews were welcomed without condition. Today, the streets of the French concession and other foreign settlements have changed to become what to do neonlit avenues, while the Bond, a stretch of western style buildings, is still representing the historic western influence that dominated so much of the city's history. General Facts Shanghai is a city in East China. It is the largest city of the People's Republic of China and the eighth largest city in the world. Due to its rapid growth of the last two decades, it has again become a global city. It is also known as the Paris of the East. According to the 2009 census, Shanghai has a population of about 19 million, four times more than the people in New Zealand. Registered migrants comprised one third of the population in 2007. However, as the most successful city of one child policy, Shanghai has the lowest fertility rate in China. The main language spoken in Shanghai is, well, Shanghainese, one of the 248 Chinese dialects identified by Wikipedia. It is gigantically different from Mandarin. If one says something in Shanghainese to a Beijinger, he is bound to get a confused look and possibly some eye rolling. Shanghainese kids start learning English in the first grade. Like it or not, English is now a compulsory course for all pupils in Shanghai. In a decade's time, everyone in the city may speak English, or a hybrid language of Chinese and English, known as Chinglish. Economy Shanghai means on top of the sea. But the fact is quite a lot of local Shanghainese have never seen the sea, as downtown Shanghai is more than 100 miles from the Pacific Ocean. And it is not blue as we may expect because of the pollution from the factories around the Yangtze River Delta. In 2005, Shanghai was termed the world's largest port for cargo, and it is now the world's busiest seaport. It handled 29 million TEUs in 2010. 25% of Chinese industrial output comes from the city and the sea. And Shanghai produces 30% of China's GDP. By the end of 2009, there were 787 financial institutions in Shanghai, of which 170 were foreign invested. In 2009, the Shanghai Stock Exchange ranked third among worldwide stock exchanges in terms of trading volume. And the trading volume of six key commodities including rubber, copper and zinc on the Shanghai Futures Exchange all ranked first across the world. Shanghai is now ranked fifth in the latest edition of the Global Financial Centers Index, published by the City of London. Urban Development One uniquely Shanghainese cultural element is the Shikumen residences, which are two or three-story townhouses. The Shikumen is a cultural blend of elements found in Western architecture with traditional Chinese architecture and social behavior. Today, many of the areas where classic Shikumen stood have been redeveloped for modern Shanghai, with only a few areas remaining. During the 1990s, Shanghai had the world's largest agglomeration of construction cranes. Since 2008, Shanghai had boasted more freestanding buildings above 400 meters than any other city. The Shanghai World Financial Center is currently the third tallest building in the world. In the future, the Shanghai Tower, slated for completion in 2014, will be the tallest in China. Meanwhile, Shanghai is sinking at a rate of 1.5 cm a year. Shanghai's rapid transit system, Shanghai Metro, extends to every core urban district as well as neighboring suburban districts. 
As of 2010, there are 12 metro lines, 273 stations, and over 420 km of tracks in operation, making it the longest network in the world. And the Shanghai Megala train linking the airport to the city center since 2004 is the world's fastest passenger train, reaching a maximum cruising speed of 431 km hour. Shanghai has the largest bus system on the planet, with 1,424 bus lines. World Expo 2010 as the largest and most internationalized city in China, Shanghai is the host of World Expo 2010, which was the biggest in history of world fairs. It also had the largest exhibiting area in World Expo history, 5.28 square kilometers, larger than two Monaco cities combined. By the end of the expo, over 73 million people had visited, and 250 countries and international organizations had participated. On October 16, 2010, the expo set a single day record of having over 1 million visitors enter the exhibition that day. Arts and Sports Shanghai was the birthplace of Chinese cinema and theatre. Shanghai's film industry went on to blossom during the early 1930s, generating Marilyn Monroe like stars such as Zhou Xiang. Another film star, Jiang Qin, went on to become Madame Mao. Many aspects of Shanghainese popular culture were transferred to Hong Kong by the numerous Shanghainese emigrants and refugees after the Communist Revolution. The movie The Mood for Love, which was directed by Wang Kawai, who is a native Shanghainese himself, depicts the nostalgia for that era. Shanghai is also the hometown of many outstanding and well-known Chinese professional athletes, such as the basketball player Yao Ming and the 110 meters hurdler Liu Xiang. Food Shanghai cooking is said to be the sweetest in China. They consume more sugar than any other part of China. Shanghai's favorite delicacy is hairy crabs. They are considered cooling, which is why they are served with Shaoxing Sherry Wine to restore the body's yin and yang. Another popular food in Shanghai is Xiaolong Bao, thin skinned dumpling. The stuffing is usually made of pork and it is wrapped in together with a lot of meat juice. Shanghai Marriage Market Every weekend, hundreds of Shanghainese parents assemble in People's Park for the Shanghai Marriage Market with the resumes of their unwed children to negotiate potential hookups. The crowds of them jostle and chatter at the bushes around filled with papers and advertising height, and weight, salary, and education of their children. Moreover, Shanghai is the most expensive city in China to get hitched, with the average cost of a wedding thirty thousand US dollars, not including the often required apartment and the car. Some attribute the rising cost to the Shanghainese obsession with face and impressing guests. According to a study from the University of Kent, in ten years. China would have approximately 24 million unmarried Chinese men who cannot find wives. That's more than the current female population of Taiwan and South Korea combined. Shanghainese Stereotypes Firstly, born and bred in such a mega city, Shanghainese are naturally characterized by their consumerist, stylish, and fashion oriented mentality. They have a highly developed commercial sensibility, like the ability to bargain. Sometimes it goes to such an extreme that they get known across the nation for being overly shrewd and even snobbish, while Shanghainese people regard it as just calculating whatever they deserve. Like most inhabitants from big cities, Shanghainese are widely known to be disdainful of people from other parts of the country. Whether one is from Beijing or Guangzhou or other area of China, he is probably seen as odd or less civilized and is certainly not welcomed by some old generation. It is not a problem for young Shanghainese though as they grow up meeting different people from all over the country. Arguably, the most important stereotype of all, Shanghainese are extraordinarily westernized, proud of having an acute and receptive sensitivity to foreign ideas, attitudes, styles, and opinions. Shanghai women are known throughout the country not only for their peerless elegance, but also for their careerism, independence, and strength of will. The city's men, correspondingly, are famed for their ready acceptance of female emancipation, along with their gentleness, marital pliability, and a child mindedness. On the other hand, they are sometimes seen as cowardly or sissy and they are less likely to get involved in violent incidents. After all, thanks to the fact that they are family-oriented, romantic, and nice to ladies, they are widely considered to be ideal husbands. Shanghai, with its astoundingly low levels of violent crime and its confident professional women, has a distinctively feminine reputation, self-image, and atmosphere. Today, Shanghai is again one of the most prosperous cities in the world. Its cosmopolitan character, sophisticated and affluent consumers, and highly educated skilled labor force make it highly attractive to overseas investors. In 21st century, it has regained its fame dating back in the 1920s as the paradise for world adventurers.